Hi there and welcome back to Andrew Channel International. I am Andrew and today we play some Sid Meier Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. I want to try the new China Leader Pack. So I'm going to try this uh, new game with Yongle. That's why we are going to the very end and we pick him. I'm going to explain you very quickly because I tried it. I, I just started a very quick game just to see how it works because it's a very, very fun um, approach and uh, it requires a completely different strategy, I think. We're going to play DT, uh, Standard, Continents and Standard. I really dislike the game mods. I That's my personal opinion. I don't know why the developers focused on game mods when they could... Uh, probably work more on the historical part and introduce also more relevant civilization like Italy in the game, but um, that's their decision, I respect it, but I'm not going to play with game modes. I, I, this is going to be a pure experience on Civilization 6. So, DT, Standard Continent Standards, Yongle, let's start the game. Um, and let me use this time where where the game loads, uh, so that you are, you're sure that I'm not trying to get the best seed whatsoever. I'm just trying to, to launch a game and take the challenge. I hope that I will be happy with the result. But um, Yongle is a Chinese, of course, so the dynastic cycle, Crunching Tiger and Great Wall remains the same as for the other leaders, like Xin Shi Wan or uh, Wu Zetian. But he's the only one in the whole game having something like this, like the Li Ya. All cities receive projects, three projects, that allow to convert production into gold, 100%. So if you have three production, you have three gold. Food or fate for 50%, meaning that three uh, uh, production will be converted into 1.5 fate. What does it mean? It means that we will try to rush, that's the strategy that we in mind, I will try to rush uh, the early pantheon. And I will try to get religious settlement to have an extra settler. And, and that could basically double my um, expectation of uh, 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 victory expectation on in this game. Let's see what happens. Um, let me analyze here quickly the situation. We have a lot of stone. We have some cattle. We have some mice. That's not bad. That's not bad. Here we have already honey, which look, wow, 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 wow. Looks so much food. Okay. I'm going to settle on this hill because uh, my capital then will have a very, very good hill. Yield? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> I think I made a mistake, but whatever. I want to uh, I want to use immediately, and Im immediately, the Lia Fate. Because now we start with 5 production and, of course, 0 Fate per turn, because what should we expect? And if I move to the next turn... Yes, in the next turn, this is getting updated. Meaning that now we produce already 2.5 faith, and in 10 or 11 turns we should unlock the first pantheon, which is big. It's, it's a lot, really. Uh, really, a lot. Okay, good. Let me see which uh, tile are we working. The 2-2 two -two tile, yes, fine. That's, that's absolutely right. I want to check if I'm going to find some tribal village, uh, villages very quickly, like this one. It could give experience or... Oh, a builder! All right, a builder probably is not the... I mean, it's not the best timing ever, but I can already use the builder to improve Beijing. In particular, in six turns, we will be able to improve also the cattle. And if we are lucky enough... Yes, with animal husbandry, we are also going to use the honey. But if we are lucky enough, maybe we have some horses that are going to boost even more our production. Let's look for more tribal villages, please. So you go directly here to, to work on Honey. That could be also our uh, ins life insurance, because if we are unlucky and we uh, realize that uh, our neighbor is Montezuma or Genji Khan, maybe uh, giving the Honey as a gift could save our butt. Not 100% not sure, but let's see. Here we get more gold. Okay, let me check if I can, when I can buy a scout, 120, all right. It seems that we can already fight those barbarians, but we don't have yet the promotion, the discipline uh, promotion, so card rather than promotion. So I'm not going to attack the barbarians immediately. I will just uh, heal and then attack the camp when it's time. Now, let's get here uh, more housing and more gold in Beijing. Uh, you can see that I could... Uh, yes, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to block this uh, so I will have more gold, but in particular, I will grow much faster. And then I should go for mining, probably, so I can get also some mines. But the question is the following. Um, I, don't have, I don't have horses. 
I have them, but they're too far. One, two, three. I will get this tile very, very far away. All right, so we have to explore and then found a city. Maybe, maybe. Let's go for pottery. Let's wait five turns before attacking this camp. And let's then use a cattle. I, I think that... Ah, oh, man, no, the scout will, uh, will steal my worker now. Why do I do these things? Oh, okay, okay, fine. No, the 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 worker is not stolen, but uh, we have a lot of barbarian camps around that are realizing where we are. I think I'm not going to buy any uh, scout, but I'm going to buy a slinger instead to defend my city from any potential barbarian attack. And then now we pick the Pantheon, which we don't have it. Ah, we don't have it. We don't have it. Look at this. Fire Goddess, Earth Goddess, City Patron Goddess. We don't have the religious um, settlements that would give us an extra uh, city. Pity, for, pity, pity, pity. But we have... Uh, uh, let me see what is this. This is a grassland with uh, honey and... Uh, I, I don't know if this is a plantation or a pasture. This is a pasture for sure. Okay, I have to decide what I want to get here. I want to decide and I have to think fast. I could get another builder, but do I really want it? Uh, do, I want, do I want to sacrifice all the Pantheon for a builder? I needed 10 turns to get there. Well, having the um, Lady of the Wiz in the Marshes could transform this tile into a very, very good one. And then I should try to settle close to oasis and desert food plains, but I don't have desert food plains. I have just grassland food plains, and oasis are not so uh, popular here around. I don't see any. So I will just skip. Okay, I paused the game and I thought a little bit. And even if I don't have a lot of uh, camps yet, I think I will go for the goddess of the hunt because it should provide uh, now uh, the honey with a plus one food and plus one production. So this tide is gonna be really good. And I can grab, uh, already with Beijing at least, another camp and uh, um, another one. So that's gonna be already quite quite good. I like it, so let's let's do that. Let's, let's stick to that. Let's try to destroy now this uh, Spearman. And next turn. Fine, I am, I'm happy with that. Now fully heal. And next one. I am making a very big mistake here because I forgot to stop the project. Man, I go for um, a warrior and then immediately um, <laughs> the, our friends are on fire here. Yeah, it seems like discipline. We need it and production. Okay, I can give the battle cry, and uh, with the promotion of the battle, battle cry, I should be able to take care of those guys. But I must buy a slinger in the next turn so I can give some support. Let's go for craft, craftsmanship. Yes. Yeah, let's kill the, the camp and lose the and lose the warrior. That's the only thing that I can do. That's that's the only thing that I can do. Otherwise, I would be overwhelmed. And uh, let me have a look about this. Craftsmanship actually is not my goal. I want to go to the early empire first, my bad. Let's continue. So, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't do much more. I need to kill the barbarians now before they reach my capital. No and they also get now a very good uh, boost for archery which I need. So after pottery, go directly to archery. Okay. Any six turns, we're gonna have an archer. All right. So Beijing is now working on um, Settler. And we are going to explore with this warrior what's going on here on the south because I um, I sense that there must be another barbarian camp. Plus, uh, I want yeah exactly minor victory. You, you say? 
Okay, I need to go and support also with the slinger, but I need to turn it into an archer before we continue. So this this barbarian will uh, try to, uh, sorry, this warrior will try to hold the barbarians here. And I need to keep the slingers um, on hold inside my borders uh, and give the promotion as soon as possible. No, come on, that's not right. Why he is dying? He was not supposed to die with two horses. Come on. It was just wrong. Just just very, very wrong. Man, that's really a horrible start, but we will make it work. We'll make it work. We need another builder now to fix all the... Uh, all the Seriously, come on! They're going away now. They're running away. They're going to the next uh, uh, unlucky... Don't let me use bad words. <laughs> All right, let's wait for the for the settler then. Not bad. Then we can es uh, escort the settler with our archer and get another uh, archer, of course. Look at this! Now the archer is almost killing a unit per turn, so we we are lucky. Okay, now Beijing is getting uh, mining. And someone has already built the Itemenaki. As soon as we have 200, we are going to buy another builder and fix this mess. So now if they charge us, they will die. <laughs> this is just crazy. This is just crazy. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Everybody is coming to me. Beijing is overwhelmed by... I, I said that I'm not going to play with zombies. Why do I have this thing? Come on. That must be a joke. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? That must be a joke, seriously. A crazy thing, really. That's such a crazy thing. Nope. Ah, come on, really. Okay, I'm getting rid of those guys before settling anywhere because they're just trying to kill my capital, you know. That's not that's not nice. That's not nice at all. And we are farming a lot of experience at least, right? That's a builder. Okay, now we have to focus on the melee units, otherwise it's gonna be a big problem. Yes, next turn. <laughs> what a bad start. What a horrible start. What an horrible start. Seriously. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, really. Okay. We have to explore a little. Um, I can't stay here and, and not explore. Uh, otherwise, okay, we are entering already uh, a dark age, which is fine. I'm, I'm not complaining about that. I want to see if I have the chance. For example, I could already settle. Um, actually, yeah, this is not a bad position because I have the, the right pantheon and I would get also uh, horses and a lot of good uh, tiers. Plus, uh, I am really not uh, recommended to waste uh, more time. I settled down as soon as possible now. And now I try to get rid uh, of the barbarian camp. We find Coupe. Okay, Coupe. Coupe is exploring with a builder. All right. That's interesting. It's an, that's an interesting approach, Coupe. We find Auckland. Wonderful. Ah, the world exists, not only barbarians. Oh man, also Cyrus of Persia, Persia exists. That's bad. That's very bad. Okay, let me check this. Settle down our city. Yep. And let's get let's grab this camp. We have still four points. Let's get this guy here. Promotion available. Not bad at all. We have Xian. And Xi'an could start with a monument to boost a little bit our uh, civics.
right? We have more faith. I think we won't manage to uh, to do anything. Actually, uh, we will just we just enter in the dark age. All right. Uh, next one is gonna be also a settler, but in five turns it's gonna be better. So maybe I could start with a trader to boost a little bit Xian, so we will we will have an internal trade route. I'm also we fix now our tiles. Another camp. Oh man, come on now. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to kill it in two turns. Probably not, so... Let's get the writing. You have discovered Colombia. That's not bad, because I think it's another point. No, it's not. Shit. Okay. Next one. Dark age. <laughs> what a horrible Extreme start. Extreme. We get to go to the and uh, so uh, we have the empire. Uh, we do not need actually to change the military card so far. Well, come on, we we'll try to get uh, a, um, a right here in the next time. So. So Pingala will be my my governor. Skill without it. Okay, craftsmanship. Um, now that's definitely better. All right. Good. So we are back uh, on track. We fixed Beijing. We we killed the barbarians. So. Now we might consider, let's go to political philosophy. We might consider um, building a little bit more uh, settlers and also chopping to, to do it. I, I pick Bing, Bingala, I'm aware of that. Uh, that's not the best choice ever maybe, but who cares? Now we go for the horseback, horseback riding because this is going to uh, give us some edge. We will have a better military then. All right. All right, I think I can bring my archers back. So uh, I'm not leaving my uh, capital and my second city completely undefended because, I mean, it takes you know, three, three warriors from Persia to be here around and, and I'm done. So Beijing now is going to build a settler and we just uh, uh, chop so to, to boost this topic. And we are going to move um, the trader to Xi'an, so we can also do that. Perfect. A Beijing, and we have a better... Uh, we have a trade route. So now we could use... Um, I, I'm not shopping anymore. I, I build uh, some... Here I work on the honey, and here I work on the horses. So I will have horses already. Um, let me see if I can kill the Barbarian Scout before he is going home. Otherwise, also these guys will start going on fire and I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. So food and everything. Oh, uh, yes, he's going home. I'm fucked. All right. Yeah, sure. Gold. Um, let me think about that, okay? Perfect. Scout is done. And now I want to check who's going to uh, send a delegation. I, I completely forgot. Let's check. <sighs> Shit. Really, they have four cities. How many cities do you have? Two. Nah, better. Uh, let me check who's, the, who's giving me more gold. I sell on it to Persia. Now I'm going to have much more gold than I will be able to buy builders and, and whatever faster okay now we have also the pastures and soon we'll be able to translate them into units wonderful 
Unfortunately, I can kill the guy, uh, but I cannot take the camp. Pity. All right, a good sell already, all, um, horses. Um, let me see if I can send a delegation here. Not really. It's too late. My bad. All right. I'm going to uh, to settle uh, close uh, to the iron. So I want to get the iron fast. And I'm going to go for. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going uh, towards um, apprentices ship. So I want to have currency. Then let's see. All right. So we have the first settler. Um, a, a monument would be really useful. I could also take now. Look at this. We have seven um, production. I could turn this into three point five food and uh, grow even more or gold, but. I think that so far we are growing quite fine without pushing too much. Um, another builder would be useful, but I think I would take another settler because I don't have yet the card that is giving my builders uh, um, some, some boosts. Right. Next turn. I mean, if I move, uh, if I move just a, a tile aside like here, I'm gonna have two iron. I'm gonna have rice and probably uh, also honey. So I'm going to settle down here. Sure, I will do that. That's because I'm in my iron city. So I'm going to. I, I have. Uh, I have now the chance to use horses. I have the chance to use swordsmen. I see where this game is bringing me. I see where he's bringing me. Uh, let's get a settler. And I'm going to buy now a builder. Because I want to chop this. Come on, man. Seriously. What the fuck are you doing here? Seriously. That's really, that's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. Man, really annoying. Come on. A strong economy. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This cannot be real. <sighs> wow. All right. So, let's have a builder. I'm not ready for war yet, but soon I will be. Okay, I'm not going towards um, I'm not going towards uh, apprenticeship now because it would take too much time and I need uh, to go right away to iron working. Now we have 18 horses. We grab this. Can I chop something here? Not yet. So I need to go to Shihan back because oh come on, it changed the the. Changed it. Okay, I'm going to buy this tile and chop it. So four turns and three turns, and then we start building up an army. Oh, Spain! Hi, Spain. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Next, our army is uh, ridiculous. Our army is small and ridiculous, but. Selling horses? Are you mad, friend? Are you totally nuts? We can uh, settle uh, another city here on Tarim, on the Tarim River, and I'm going to do that. So we have our fourth city here, and the fifth one will probably go on the shore. And uh, I I'm very curious. But now Beijing. Beijing must uh, be an archer. All right, and now we unlock political philosophy. We take uh, a plus unit experience and land and melee anti cavalry and naval melee class units gain a plus four. And now that I have a government, uh, we keep the ago game, and we are also taking for the time being uh, 
conscription. It's a little bit, but that's fine. And we are going to take the Ilkum, uh, the urban planning, sorry, to have more production in general. And we need to have another, we have a wide card. The Twilight Valor would give us plus five combat strength for all melee attack units, but cannot heal outside your territory. All right, or isolation, isolationism, but we cannot train or settle new cities. That's very bad. Uh, for the time being, I think that I'm going to take something else. And in particular, the Ilkum here, yeah. But just now, just for now. All right, let's go for uh, mysticism. So maybe we can use our wild card. No, it's military tradition for the general, right? Yep, that that is, that is it. And as soon as we change, we can also use isolationism. So our internal trade routes are going to be good. Sure. And let's play still a, a couple of turns, but. Then I think we are good for today. All right. So Xi'an can bring uh, our colonies here on the coast and start building also some units. An archer, because I want to be able to produce with military production also my cavalry. And we send an envoy to... Let's use a rain Auckland. That could be useful. We can slowly do that. When waste Perfect. Let's settle down here and Chengdu has actually a very good amount of uh, yield here. So let's move and say that instead of having 2.7 um, production, we are boosting food and we try to push the city uh, so that the city grows faster. And I'm going to do the same also in the next one. All right, I think that I could try. The Terracotta Army would be wonderful. Um, sailing is more important, I think, now. Turn. All right. We set to somewhere else, of course, sure. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Okay, let's pick now the maneuver. And uh, I think we could uh, get the Strategos. Where do I want to settle? I I would go for a hill on the, on the coast and then try to get those horses and these cattle. And so in the next episode, we will going to have, we'll be around turn 77 with five cities and uh, the potential for a pretty good army. Um, I have to work, of course, iron. And then I probably, I could use this, uh, this gold. They can be just normal warriors and then upgrade them. Because if I'm fast enough, I can then strike uh, Kupe and try to conquer Capiti and Garuavaya, which should lead to a quite good amount of land and then I can try to start using my districts. I have to build districts. Yes, I do. I have to build districts because I don't have even a district yet, but they will come with time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.